is perceived as being popular amongst respondents in their own states. So you're comparing the relative popularity within their own states, not nationally. So here, uh, it's the SKM's uh, Prem Singh Tamang Sikkim who's actually come out on number one and very interestingly his popularity has jumped up from 26% in the last poll uh, to 56% now. So big jump up for Prem Singh Tamang of the SKM in Sikkim. Then there is Himanta Biswa Sarma, 49 to 51. That's good news for uh, Himanta Da because uh, in his own state at least, while he didn't feature nationally, but in his own state, he's holding ground quite commendably and is at 51. Bhupender Patel in Gujarat was at 55% two polls ago. Now he's at 46. Mamta Banerjee's popularity within West Bengal, which is frankly what matters to her most, has actually gone up from 32% two polls ago to 46% now. And then there is the smiling Andhra Chief Minister Chandra Babu Naidu coming in at number five. So he's entered the big boys club, the big chief ministers club, big boys and girls club, uh, right in the first uh, MOTN that's been done after being sworn in. And so, uh, uh, Rahul, there's okay. one rider over here that, uh, you know, I know on the West Bengal numbers, a lot of our audience are going to say, how, how is that possible? Look at West Bengal, what is happening now? But the polling was done before this unfortunate sure. incident happened. Mamta Banerjee, till that point of time, was riding the success of her Lok Sabha performance in West Bengal. So, if we do the same number now, I highly doubt, as a pollster, that these numbers are going to hold true for her, you know, uh, after the, these incidents in West Bengal. The two chief ministers, I think, who we will have to look at closely because of what will happen over the next 12 to 18 months. One, Arvind Kejriwal. He's at the same level as Chandra Babu Naidu. He's actually joined fifth at 44%. Yes. And in the break, Preeti and I were looking at the fact of, will Arvind Kejriwal be able to do a, a hat-trick in or, or quadruple his fourth consecutive victory in 2024, uh, 2025 February? And I think Arvind Kejriwal faces a huge challenge because while he is uh, Neta number one in Delhi, the Congress party is also a party which is looking to revive itself in Delhi. How is that going to play? Will the Congress take enough votes from Arvind Kejriwal. How long will Arvind Kejriwal remain in jail today? Uh, the court has again deferred the hearing on his CBI, uh, right. on his bail Rajiv, petition yeah. to September 5th. Rajiv, so before Arvind we come Kejriwal to Delhi. is one challenge and I think the other one is Yogi Adityana. And I think that to me is the real story in a way of uh, of your most popular chief minister. Hemant Biswa Sarma, again riding hardline Hindutva has emerged as the BJP sort of poster boy. What Yogi Adityanath was five years ago, Hemanta Biswa Sarma is, is, is at the moment. But Yogi Adityanath coming down to 39% in Uttar Pradesh is a warning signal because we have elections there uh, in a couple no, of years from now. But you miss out something very but, important. But, but, yes. If you look at the list of the top 10 chief ministers in terms of popularity in their home states, there's not a single Congress chief minister there. There is no Siddharamaya, there is no Revant Reddy, there is no Sukhvinder Sukhu. In their own states, at this moment, they're not seen as being amongst the most popular. I think there are two, you're right, and there are surprises there as well. Siddharamaya actually won Karnataka in many ways on his own steam. I think Raj will know this better, that he was seen as a, a mass leader. But he's been buffeted by the usual intrigue within the Congress party, plus missteps that he has taken. The welfare schemes obviously have also not taken off as well as some people in the Congress would have hoped. So I think that's one problem. Raymond Threddy is more surprising. I would have thought that Raven Threddy, smaller state, very, very uh, proactive chief minister would be in your list. Him not being there is a bit of no, a but surprise. Raven is getting a lot of pushback. I mean, his honeymoon ended up rather abruptly. Yeah, but he's and, breaking. Uh, uh, a, a, every, every second week I hear of uh, BRS members no, no, crossing that is, over. Into coaching is you by, by so now. He's no, that coaching is that. Within. So I would have thought he would reflect in the popularity stage. Clearly, he's not reflecting. He's a pro is a because that did not reflect even in the Lok Sabha election. I, yeah. I mean, sure. let me, let yeah, me yeah, that's what I'm the saying. That's what I'm saying. It Good did not reflect in the... By the way, one more thing. Just the, Let's take... Just, just hold it for a moment. And please uh, take some time to appreciate the fact. And this, by the way, uh, I must thank Raj because Raj and Kaushik, they were after my life uh, that, you know, nobody focuses on the Northeast the way we should focus. And we made it a point that rather than clubbing the entire Northeast like all the other uh, media houses do, we made it a point we are going to do the polling and rank the Chief Minister of Northeast and to see 
a Pema Khandu, a Sikkim Chief Minister and an Assam Chief Minister getting and in Tripura. And Tripura. Four out of the top ten are coming from the Northeast. Please let that sink in. If you are doing good in your and by the way, when you talked about Tripura, Tripura has created a sort of record of getting in one state. BJP has polled more than 70% votes in Lok Sabha elections. Okay. Now, okay. So let, let's just take a moment to appreciate these chief ministers because they are doing some awesome work in their own, maybe small northeastern states, but we have taken the pain to acknowledge their work there. there. Sheila, but there's also the reality that in Uttar Pradesh, Yogi Adityanath has come down from 51% in the last poll to 39, a decline yeah. of 12 huh. in UP in just the past so half year. So very, uh, it's a very interesting fig uh, figures. I think very, very interesting thing about uh, Yogi Adityanath is people don't understand that you can't think of Yogi Adityanath in Rahul's white t-shirt or Modi's kurta. He is all about his separate or, uh, dress. And if he is losing it, uh, some uh, popular votes, I think it is because that has diffused saffron color and his upper class background, Thakur, being a Thakur, that identity is coming up. And also, there is a, in UP, visible about uh, uh, dissent in OBC votes of BJP. And yeah. also the list. So yeah. I think that is all reflecting. Uh, Sheila, how do you say about this fact that probably, which is, uh, I mean, uh, we started probably getting amused by the fact that Yogi Adityanath might be more popular outside UP than in his own state. You know, when you talk about in the first question of All India, you know, who do you think is the most popular chief minister in India, best chief minister? Yogi Adityanath gets number one, all right? But when you talk about in state performance, he is not there in the top ten. He's nine. So, yeah, and he's not number nine. So the thing is, is it possible that BJP's fan base across India propels Yogi Adityanath's name as the most successful chief minister just because of his ideological positioning and the the avatar that you are like telling in the kind of clothes that he no, is in so because there is there is very little competition the people also people like, like yogi right. because they think he can be checkmated among the against other Modi bjp chief Shah. ministers there is very little competition therefore the bjp support base across the country have a natural choice in him exactly Whereas there, there is just no competition exactly so this is why but, he's but at really the same well. time why the numbers are going down has a direct link to the lok sabha performance, performance yeah. because if you talk an average bjp supporter uh, you know, the kind, when we ask them about the defeat and the, the thing, they blame it on UP. Ki this election, everything went out of their calculation because of UP and that's a fact. Because if you add those 30, 35 seats to BJP tally, BJP is cross okay. 272 on what, its own. What we'll and do we now is show our viewers nice. what uh, Uttar Pradesh could look like at this moment if it voted. Uh, so if we have that on our screen, remember in the Lok Sabha elections of 2024, the BJP had 33 seats. The Samajwadi party in that election had 37, the Congress had 6, the RLD and the Apnadal together had 3. Now, Yashwan Deshmukh and Sivota are projecting that the BJP's tally could go up marginally to 35, the Samajwadi party could come down to 34, the Congress stays at 6. So there are two ways of looking at it. One is that the BJP's gained slightly, the SP's lost, but the more important thing is that 2024 was not an aberration. Even if you poll at this moment, Yashwan Desh, uh, Deshmukh's data suggests that the trend is roughly the same. Because two seats up, two seats down, anything can happen. But the trend is roughly the same. So anybody who imagines that just because of that momentum at that moment around the issue of caste, which is why the BJP crashed in the way it did, is not correct. Even now the poll, Yashwan suggests. Rahul, uh, Rahul you are right because, you know, the bipolarization of UP is getting acute. Oh. by the day. Uh, BSP meltdown is now looking at inevitable right mm. now at this point of time. The non jata votes of the BSP are kind of just this gone indicated. ahead with the this way or that way. Uh, this whatever marginal one or two seats up and down you are looking at it is only the turnout factor because UP the turnout dropped heavily and when in the poll everybody says that I am going to go out and vote In actually not everybody goes out and vote. So that's a turnout differential that's what uh, a slight in that way. But BSP equation in Uttar Pradesh is something which should bother the BJP the most. Yeah. 
because if this bipolarization continues further BJP is going to face a tough time at the hands of Akhilesh you know, Yadav. Yes, in the How will it impact the 10 bipoles coming up? The BSP is the insurance policy for BJP in exactly. Uttar Pradesh. Now that insurance for policy goes belly up, then what happens? And there is very little that the BJP can sort of do arithmetically when the Dalits and the Jatav, especially among the Dalits, Jatav, Pasi, etc., go into the bandwagon of Samajwadi Party. Then arithmetic-wise itself, it becomes a very, very complex social equation that BJP will find it hard yeah, to overcome. Because for a, red, for a long time, the equation arithmetically was that BJP is not getting below 45% and SP is not crossing 40%. But this Lok Sabha election smashed that equation. No, but no, the but question the, is whether Congress ask, uh, and Assembly Rahul, what Rahul asked, crossed 40%. Let's pursue the question that Rahul asked, that this is not an aberration, right? This is not an event on yeah. an episode. Yeah. There is a trend line. And what is not clear in UP is why did they crash so much? And what is your analysis? I mean, given the fact that you've now got your polls... Uh, yeah, already yeah, done yeah. in uh, 2014, June 20, uh, sorry, 2024, and now here. What is it showing in terms of what were the main causes of the... And uh, may I also because say because all pollsters should do a Mia Kalpa on UP. Again, neither I mean, Mia I mean, nor Kalpa. Rabi, Rabi, listen, listen I mean, to me. You got your Rabi, language badly wrong. Rabi, neither Mia I nor Kalpa. I, what, what, what I, what I, what Rabi, I, what I, what I, I never said, please, please, Rabi, 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 I'm not a pollster. No, 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 no. But the inability to interest me, Rabi, I'm not letting, Rabi, I'm not allowing you to get away with them. Rabi, I'm not allowing you to get away with them. Rabi, I'm not allowing you to get away with them. Rabi, I'm not allowing you to get away with them. Rabi, I'm not allowing you to get away I refuse to become a spokesperson of the polling industry, no matter how hard you Yeah, but we got it wrong. No, no, I, I will refuse because I never said Charso Park. On this show here, right on here, Pradesh, Radeep, I said, 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 Radeep, I said, Radeep, I said, 30. You can try to as much as you like. I refuse to become a spokesperson. I, I will tell you. No, I will never. Speak. I will never. Speak. Radeep, don't take the debate in the wrong direction. Let him speak. Please, mm -hmm. don't take it in the wrong yeah, direction. Yeah. Yes. I said 45% for the NDA, BJP poll 45%. Mm -hmm. I said 39% for the Samajwadi Party in Congress scenario, and I said... 14% for the BSP. BSP meltdown happened. They got to 9%. All right. So bipolarization of the UP happened. We got the seats horribly wrong. Rajiv. Come on, start accepting this Rajiv. inability Rajiv. to accept Rajiv. is my problem. Five Rajiv, that's later. your problem. No, Not it is. My problem. I have a problem with I, it. I, Rajiv, that's your problem. No, because we talk with Rajiv, such confidence based on these numbers. Rajiv, that's your problem. Okay. It's not my problem. Okay. Okay. You're the now, start, now, start, yeah, yeah, please come back. Now come back. Come back to this. Come back to this. You do the Mia Kalpa. I, I will. I yeah. have done it. Because the day you asked me to the Mia Kalpa, I told you, Rajdeep, I don't believe in the seats. My vote shares are intact. I got the 38% on this show. Everybody was saying BJP is crossing 40% vote. I said BJP is not crossing 38% vote. Can, can I, I said that over here. Can, okay. On, on, so neither Mia nor Kalpa, on, again, time and again. On this, now, time out. Time coming out. This to, is UP, not coming out to UP, the thing which Raj pointed out, Problem for the BJP is the meltdown of the Bahujan Samaj Party. And Akhilesh Yadav doing the brilliant ticket distribution ticket of distribution. giving tickets to non jatav Dalits. You know, best example is Ayodhya. Ayodhya is a general seat. And on a general seat, he gave a ticket to Pasi. Na Ayodhya na Kashi chalega Pasi. That's the Nara which went into Ayodhya. All right. So the thing is, BJP has to redo this entire thing on their end because, as Rajat mentioned, the insurance policy of the Bahujan Samaj Party has gone belly up. Okay. Now, That's yeah, where now, the BJP is struck. If they can go ahead and uh, actually make BJ, BSP a part yeah. of the NDA. No, but let's give that, them a better job. No, that let's give them a better job. No, no, this is what that's, we're that's going what to say. You this know, it's not just been the been insurance been. policy of the BSP. Let's be clear. Amit Shah from 2014 consciously was able to successfully work out social... You see, this is my problem. We look for, uh, you know, this is all ex uh, after the event, we are trying to explain. No, the no, fact no, no, is, no, right. one minute, one minute. Amit Shah, 2014, 2017, 2019, look at his... He was able to successfully do social engineering of the BJP by widening its base. It has nothing to do with the BSP meltdown otherwise. Don't forget, BSP and SP tied up together in 2019 and yet the BJP was party number one. 
I believe there has been a shift both in the way Akhilesh Yadav has approached his politics yeah. and also the ground reality in Uttar Pradesh. There, the there were a million the rounds. There were a million between the Yadavs and the Dalits sir, on the ground was so massive. There, was, was, there are a million mutinies in Uttar Pradesh today. And, there are and mutinies and, against and the narrative of the Raj and the there are, politics. There are mutinies at yeah. different levels I, within the BJP. There are mutinies that are taking place between castes, a sense of Thakurwad, a sense of over bureaucracy. Democratization, DM Hamari Bhatni Sunta hai. The fact that Delhi decided all the seats for Uttar Pradesh led to resentment in certain parts. All of this needs to be understood. There are no simple solutions. No, no, BSP enough, out of that, that, so once again, so can, so can I can I just say on the issue of whether yes. polls need to be believed or not? Here's what I wish to say. It you know, all go to the Rajdeep media. has an opinion, Rachingappa will have an opinion, Rajat Sethi will have an opinion. It's their own individual opinion. When you do a poll, whether it's 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 sample in that particular state, you get a more representative sample. It doesn't necessarily mean that you can pick the seats right. I think where people go wrong is uh, when pollsters get their numbers right, they start being taken as Moses or Jesus. Exactly. <laughs> this, is, oh, this is it. You know, They'll show the way and it will absolutely be correct. That's never really ever going to be the case because at some point in time, probability will catch up. But if you just ask these people what they're saying, I'd much rather ask 30,000 people what they're saying and then pick up the trend. The trend there very clearly is that there is a shift in the numbers in Uttar Pradesh. The kind of dominance that the BJP had in Uttar Pradesh a few polls ago, it no longer has at this time. That data is very clear. Now, whether that leads to 33 seats, 37, 3, 38, that's a mugs game. That's always in polling going to be a mugs game. You can pick direction, you can pick momentum. There are restrictions to what polling can and cannot do. So let's not put our own biases ahead of the data. Let's put the data. We didn't first. pick the direction in UP. I have to say that. We didn't pick the no, direction. I'm sorry, in UP. some of us put no, it. May I also please come? Yeah. 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 This is not about point That's scoring. Important. I think it's time that there is a little bit of humility and introspection. Otherwise, we will carry what, on with it. Humility and introspection okay. for what? I'm sorry. No, 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 I'm, I'm such a big fan. I'm allowed to also say okay. I got the numbers right in UP. <laughs>